Dear Misty, a friend introduced me to her best friend. First, I totally thought he was closeted and that she was just his beard. But then out of nowhere, he adds me on Snapchat. What is Snapchat? Is that kind of like an Instagram? Adds me on Snapchat. And we chatted for four hours non-stop telling me very personal things and asking very personal things. He even asked me for a dick pic. When, when I said no, he said he was just kidding. However, he was obviously flirting. What do I do? All right, so, anonymous. In this situation, the first thing you have to do is think of the golden rule. If you were in her shoes, what would you want you to do? If you were her, what would you want you to do? Yeah. And that's the basis of whatever you need to do and or say. And if you honestly have no idea what you would want, then maybe I can help you narrow it down. All right, if it were me, I would have to decide how close you are to being friends with this girl. Are you very, very close? Are you not so close? If you're super close with this girl, just tell her. Invite her over, call her up and be like, hey mama, I have some bad news. I don't know how to tell you. Actually, don't call her. Go over in person so you can actually show her visibly. Blah, blah, blah. Look, look, look. Read it. And warn her. Be like, mommy, what I'm about to tell you is something that you're not going to like. In fact, you're going to be very mad and you're going to be upset and you're going to be hurt. But I want you to know that I'm telling you because I love you. Now, if you're not very good friends, and if you're just really co-workers and you're kind of friendly, like you hang out sometimes, then, and you want to tell her because that's what you would want if you switch positions. I guess it all depends on how serious she thinks they are, too. If it's just some guy she's dating, she might not even care. Like, uh, whatever, I thought he was a queer anyway, or whatever. But if she's in love with him and wants him to be the father of her children, then we have a Jerry Springer situation. But anyways, if you're not that close with her, then you could be like, um, don't say it to her. Say it to somebody else. In front of her. Like, I don't know where you work, but let's say, for example, you're waiting tables, and you're in the back, and you're, um, in the... I can't remember, wait, what's it called? And you're in the back and you're in the service area of the bar and you're sitting there getting drinks or whatever and you're like, oh my gosh, Stephanie, whatever, some girl's name that's not the girl you're talking to. Hypothetical situation, if you were dating someone, someone and then just be like, hey girl, hypothetical situation, hey everybody, hypothetical situation, if you were dating someone would you want to know if they were unfaithful or if they were flirting with other people? And then find out what this girl says. And then be like, all right, what about you? What about you? What about you? And make sure, obviously, to ask the girl in debate. And then later, when not everyone is around, then if she said, yeah, of course, I would want to know. That's when you have a green light. That's when you can be like, later when you're alone, not in front of everybody at work, and be like, girl, remember that time today when I did a hypothetical situation and you were like, I want, want to know. Well, this is what's up. The Your new boyfriend or the guy you're dating has been hitting me up on Snapchat. What Snapchat? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, and uh, at first I was like, oh, it's so-and-so's friend, blah, blah, blah. You introduced me to him. I wasn't doing anything behind your back. Um, but our lighthearted conversation took a heavy turn and then show her your phone and be like, see for yourself. Um, so she could see because some girls like parents. If you said your kid is a homo, they can live in denial all day long and be like, I don't believe you. You're lying. It's not true. All the while, hashtag obvious. It's a true story. You know, but if she sees the physical proof, or you should be her first response, or she could even be like, You're jealous, you just don't want me to be happy, you're trying to sabotage something beautiful, or whatever. She could think of lots of reasons. I would just literally just say, Look, read it. 
because that way she can see for herself and she can see his words and what he says and whatever and she can she might not do anything about it at first and then she can think about it and ponder about it and deal with her situation the way she wants to you know the worst case scenario, she's going to be totally, totally in love with this guy. The best case scenario, she had her suspicions all along anyway. He was just Mr. Right Now. Either way, I would want to know. I've dated bisexuals before. And bisexual guys, I'm like, look, if you need to fuck a vagina, if we're just dating, first of all, go ahead. I don't care. Fuck all the vaginas you want. Don't even tell me about it. I don't care. But if you date another drag queen or a man, that's when we got a problem. Because I don't have a vagina. I can't give you that if that's what you want or need. Now, in a relationship, like, this is my husband. <laughs> I would still let him play around with girls if he wanted or needed that. But it would definitely be more of a you-need-to-let-me-know situation. So, she might be like, oh, I always knew he was bi. I can't give him that, so I told him he could do whatever he wants. I know a lot of girls that have married gay men and begged them not to give them divorces because they didn't want to be alone or they didn't want to be single or whatever. Um, literally, one of my very good friends and his wife have been married for like 30 years and um, they have a kid together. And I think he's a screaming queen. Like, I think it's obvious for everyone. <laughs> But he lives a very closeted lifestyle and they don't talk about that thing at home and she occasionally lets him go out and play. You know, but it's definitely pre-discussed and arranged in a safe environment, etc, etc, where he doesn't put his wife or child at harm of STDs, for example. But yeah, that's a tricky situation, girl. That's something... I don't blame you for writing me. That's a really good ask, Misty, because there's a lot of equations and a lot of possibilities with that one but realistically if you ask me it all boils down to how close you are as friends if you're really close if you're not really close because depending on your friendship you could lose a friend the closer you are the more likely she's going to stay your friend um, because she'll know your heart and your soul like she'll know that you weren't trying to sabotage her or steal her boyfriend some people take that really personal especially if she's in love but if she's some hooker at work that you kind of know and you hang out with every once in a while, she might, and she's in love, she might never want to talk to you again because you're the backstabbing homewrecker. And that's when you have to analyze, is it worth it? Either way, she could find out. And trust and believe, it's better for her to find out from you than from him. Because what if that's a seed you planted? And what if he keeps thinking about you and, you know... <laughs> what if he wants you so much that he tells you, tells her? Oh my god, I've been thinking about this guy that you introduced me to. How close are you with so and so? And the more he talks about you, the more it'll be a red flag for her anyway. So, long story short, I would tell her. But it's all about the how. Loving you, Zizi.